Today we have a significant decision of international justice in a case that has real prospects. The International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin. This is a historic decision that will lead to historic accountability. The head of a terrorist state and another Russian official have officially become suspects of a war crime. In the deportation of Ukrainian children, the illegal displacement of thousands of our children to the territory of the terrorist state. In the criminal proceedings being investigated by our law enforcement officers, more than 16,000 cases of forced deportation of Ukrainian children by the occupier have already been recorded. But the real full number of deportees could be much higher. To carry out such a criminal operation would be impossible without the order of the highest leader of the terrorist state. To separate children from their families, to deprive them of any opportunity to contact their relatives, to hide children on the territory of Russia, to disperse them to remote regions. All this is obviously Russian state policy, state decisions and state evil, which starts exactly with the top official of the state. I am grateful to the team of Prosecutor Karim Khan and the International Criminal Court, to everyone in the world who helps us fight for justice. I am grateful for their integrity and willingness to bring those responsible to justice.